All my windows float, all my windows float, like a dog on a boat, all my windows float. Yeah, so this video will be about how to create like a floating mode in i3. Wait, don't write the comment, don't write the comment, look at the video, look at the screen here. Every window is tiled, take it easy, take a deep breath. I know I am using i3, but it you are allowed to have floating windows, even if uh, the label of the window manager is a tiling window manager. It's it's totally fine Whatever, but um, you, you will see don't write the comment. Don't tell me not to use floating windows in i3 It works fine. I have been using this For two years. I have been using this layout here with four tiled uh, containers in uh, that are tabbed like this, my i3 fear thing. I, I think it's almost two years now that I have been using this uh, personally, and, and one and a half years since I released it publicly, you know, if, on GitHub. So, and all along, I have been using this global rule for window class anything um, floating enable. But I just discovered that this rule is causing issues and it's not because of my scripts It's uh, because how i3 handles these four window rules and they hand i3 handle the rules in in a, in a way that I didn't uh, Fully understand or know and it's I don't think you uh, know about this either because it's it's, it's kind of strange and I, I recently, like uh, yesterday or two days ago or something, created an issue here on i3's uh, issue tracker. And we had a good discussion here and now I understand what's going on. Uh, and I have also added a fix for the issue that I haven't shown you uh, yet. But you have seen it many, many times because every single video I create, this issue appears almost. The issue is this. These four window rules, they are uh, uh, read and applied if uh, a new window matches the criteria here. For instance, any class. That means this, win this rule will match any window. But uh, here we have a, a rule for instance HTOP. This will only uh, get uh, applied to, yeah, to a window matching HTOP here. Normal, that's what we expect, of course, this is what how it works. Uh, and these rules are only uh, tested when the, a new window uh, is created. Well, they are tested when a new window is created. They are also tested, and this is when it gets weird and interesting. When you reload i3, I will do that now. There, I reloaded it, and now you can see I can change windows here, nothing uh, crazy is going on. But, if the title of a window changes, then it will test all the rules again. So if I uh, change title of this window in Sublime here, text editor, if I change file, that will uh, change the title of the window. You saw? Super fast glitch. I change title of Thunar, super fast glitch, and then it's no problem. Then it, it it only does this one time after you have reloaded and if the win title changes. And the title often changes in the file manager, in the text editor and of course the browser if I change tab. Glitch. But now it works fine. So, um, and this is because that's how i3 works. It uh, triggers uh, the rules when uh, when the title changes, that's that's uh, how, how how it's designed. Uh, I think it's 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 not good that it does so, but that's that's just how it works. Um, so what happens is when the title changes, it will set the window to floating. But since this is sublime, for instance, then it will also match this rule. Uh, and move it with i3 fira back to the c container so that's why it just gets like a short visual glitch there this happens within the no time at all uh, and most of the time it, it isn't more serious than than that little glitch even if that is really annoying this thing but sometimes it can have weirder uh, results and especially if for instance i would close sublime here now so i only have one window left in this tabbed container 
Yeah, we could we could test it here now. I don't exactly now know how this will uh, what will happen now. But if I close this and change tab here, that would invoke that glitch, uh, and that would make this window floating. And that means this container will be empty. And this container is tab now. It is it is already tab. But if it doesn't have any windows, then the the container is automatically destroyed by i3, and and uh, that's what you want, you know. And that is what will happen when this gets floating, and then it will trigger i3 feeder to move it back, but then it first have to create, because this is a special tab container, blah blah blah, so it... I, I think this will... Yeah, you saw it, it, now it glitched out more, even if it wasn't super slow or anything, but it's... Yeah, it feels, it feels really hackish, uh, in a way, you know, and, and not stable. And this is all because uh, this, these rules are triggered when, when the title changes. So, um, but I found a, a solution to this uh, by using the IPC uh, listener script. You can use any IPC uh, listener, Python or even the built-in i3 listener thing that's just added, subscribe. Let's not get into that, but I think I will make a video s soon about that also. Uh, but since we have been using this I, uh, Python IPC in the videos, I also actually added this here to... If you go to, to the official i3 IPC Python GitHub, there is a directory called examples, which is really interesting, not only because of this, but you, here you have a, uh, some cool examples of what you can do with this uh, uh, Python IPC. But I added here uh, yesterday floating mode script, and it's only these lines, you know, it's it's nothing. It's just one method with one command that is triggered when a new window is created. And that command is to set that window to floating, meaning this is an alternative way to create a global rule. Uh, but this will only get triggered when a new window is created, not when the title changes or anything else. So it works, it's perfect for a global rule. But the fir uh, this wasn't my first idea. My first idea was to completely rewrite the four window rules thing in Python and, and handle window events and, and, and stuff in Python instead. But I, I uh, ran into issues uh, and limitations because this IPC, it, it will not get pinged when uh, class names changes, for example. You know, we changed the class in, in uh, Thunar to, to get two different uh, containers and stuff. This wasn't possible because uh, i3 doesn't uh, send the signal to the IPC that the class name changed and stuff, whatever. But then I realized, hey, it's much easier if I do it the other way around and only have one rule in Python, the, Pyth the global rule, and, the, and you only need one global rule. Uh, because, um, yeah, it's, only, it's a rule that applies to all windows. So you don't need to create multiple rules with different commands. Instead, you can chain all the commands in, in one line or one rule like this. So you only need one rule, and instead of having it in as a four-window rule, use this uh, uh, IPC uh, version instead. So if I disable this here now, or first we could test it. Now, now it's active, the, the normal four-window thing that I've been using for years. If I execute Thunar here, normally it will create a new Thunar window with no special class name, no, uh, and I don't have any rules for this, and then only the global rule will apply, making it floating. If I disable this rule, save and reload i3 and now if i execute thunar here now it's uh, tiled instead now this rule it will not make the windows floating just wanted to demo that, that it works now let's apply this in in um, python ipc and now also no th this was also one one thing uh, that made me understand what was the issue because i disabled the global rule and then all of a sudden i didn't have those issues anymore because I was thinking, all, 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 all this time I was thinking it was something in my i3 feed uh, stuff or something, you know. But it, it isn't related to my scripts. Um, enable this uh, in the Python IPC here, window colon colon new. So this will only trigger on, on new windows. 
execute the method set floating here, which I have here. And here I set this floating enable and I also have border normal one here. So this is how you add multiple commands. Uh, save, reload, spawn a thunar. Now it's uh, floating as we can see. Uh, so, but now it's not using the i3 global rule and now I can change title without any glitches. It's much, it, 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 this is such a small change that makes a very big difference. It, I guess not only if you are using i3 Fira, this can have effect on other, if you are using a global rule in i3 in some kind of way. Because global rules are not really officially supported, you know, you, you, you write, this is almost a dirt act to write a global rule like this. It would be better if there were a, a, a command that was called global rule or something. So, that, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> But don't use this method. Use uh, an IPC to make sure that the rule only applies on new windows and not on title change. These other rules, however, they will still trigger now on title change. So Sublime here, for instance, this rule, move to i 3 c here, that actually triggers uh, the first time the title changes. But nothing really happens because it is already in, in the C container and so on. But it's still a bit annoying. I, I would like it to never trigger uh, the rules except for new window events. So we, we'll see what happens. And, and it looked like uh, the i3 developers here, bore both uh, uh, Orestes and, and Airblader, uh, thought that this might, might, might be worth uh, looking into. So we, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, and if they change it in the future, then we can remove that simple thing but since we all I, I already have this ipc this this doesn't cost me anything the only little uh, thing I, I needed to change was that in my uh, let, let's uh, comment it out again go back to the normal uh, or normal the old behavior the bad behavior um, and see we have it here tiled term so there reload i3 and now if i change title you will see the little glitch glitchy glitchy uh, i have a, a command to spawn a urxvt uh, window with the instance name tile term and then i have a window rule for that to uh, set floating disabled but it's not like the other uh, tiled rules i have which sets uh, the window to a, to a uh, specific container this only makes it uh, uh, tiled and that means that it will get tiled in whichever container I have open. For example, C container, I spawn this tile term here now. And now I, I have made this stupid title format just to make it clear here. So super control enter creates a tiled uh, URXT. And I can do this no matter how many times I want. It will create a new window and it will create the window in the container that I am in. So th th this is actually something I use all the time and it's it's really nice. But this was uh, acting um, weird when I enabled the Python the Python uh, uh, rule. We, we can see it, how, how it worked. But it, it's no big deal and it was very easy to, to, to fix it. So I enabled Python again, reload and now change title, no glitch. And now if I if I execute that tile term command, that window will get floating. And that is because it will read the rules, the window rules, it will see here, floating disable and make this disabled. And then uh, the, the, the Python uh, IPC here is actually executed after the internal window rules. It, it, it's completely expected that, that, that it is like this. So, um, First I tried, I just added this, but that's that's stupid to add a sleep command when this uh, uh, window appears. Sleep for, for 100 milliseconds and then make that floating. But that was, it worked, it worked, but it, it's not clean, you know. Better to add a, a, a test in, in Python here, since I only have, this is the only window I have uh, that is tiled like this. Maybe you have more, maybe not, I don't know. But you can add a test in, in, in Python to see if the new window have the instance name tile term. If it doesn't, make it flo floating, otherwise make it tiled. So now 
boing boing. It, it, it's just it feels native, you know. It, it I'm so happy with with how uh, with this and and that it was such an easy fix. It's almost not even a dirt hack, you know. Really, really, really recommend this if you are using a global rule, especially if that global rule is floating. And it's fine. You can have floating windows in uh, i3. Here, here is uh, someone who, who have uh, this issue on on uh, i3wm Reddit subreddit. I don't have a Reddit account anymore because I cannot stand Reddit. Mostly because of attitudes like this. You know, someone. Th this is the reply. This is how you help users who have a have an issue uh, why 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 are you floating and then he explains why he floats well it sounds like you should uh, try herbsluft's wm instead uh, this is like the official i3 support forum uh, and the the support you get this is use a different window manager when there is e also easy solutions not only this you know but this attitude and this is not i3wm subreddit this is reddit this is the reddit at attitude somehow it's hard to pin down exactly what it is but it's easy to delete the account and just don't think about it even whatever thank you for watching everybody i hope uh, the uh, some of you i think i'm sure th this will be great news for some of you whatever but now you know and i know we know how four window rules work and why they were weird dog on a boat bye